The New Order. This mod has been in development for longer than I've been alive. Actually, just longer than, um, Hoi 4 has been out. Yeah, not, not, not quite how long I've been alive, but at least longer than Hoi 4 somehow. I don't really understand that for sure. Maybe like in a different form, in a different reality. But this mod is finally out, so I guess why not play it? It should be good. It's been in development for a long time. It's at least going to be something. And if it's not good, then we can just make fun of how it's been developed for so long and sucks, but I'm sure it's great. Besides the UI, I know the UI is kind of controversial. Maybe they've made some improvements. I personally don't hate the UI too much, but I know a lot of people dislike it, so yeah. But yeah, this mod is basically what if Germany won World War II? What if Germany won World War I? Kaiserreich, and what if Germany won World War II, the New Order? Yeah, so we have three major powers, Italy, Germany, and Japan. And then there's us, the United States of America, the last bastion of democracy once again, just not in a mod called the last bastion this time. But yeah, we're led by the good old Richard Nixon, yeah. Now did he cheat in the election in this timeline too? But yes, we have the American malaise. America was once a nation of indomitable will, a nation so bountiful and spirited that its optimism seemed unconquerable. That was ended by the atomic bombing of Pearl Harbor. Now across each and every one of these United States, the country is mired in a malaise with only a dim light at the end of the tunnel. So yeah, things are not good in America, but we are kind of the only hope for democracy in this world. So if we want to create the world that exists in our timeline, we're gonna have to do a lot of work, guys. It's gonna be quite difficult. Because this is the Europe we're looking at, and this is the Russia we're looking at. It's pretty bad. We have our good friend, Mr. Having to blur out that flag above his face and blurring out his name and calling him Mustache Man Guy. I'm just kind of sad that Mosley isn't here. Old Mosley has to be somewhere, right? He has to be at least somewhere. Scotland's democratic, so they might join the faction. We also occupy Greenland, so you guys know who's happy today. <laughs> and we technically occupy... Iceland too, it's just a puppet, US forces island. It's not even called Iceland. Well, the state is Iceland, but the country is just US forces island. Hey guys, I live in US forces island. Yeah, we kind of lost Hawaii. Hey, why do we have so many ships surrounding Hawaii? Is there like a naval blockade of Hawaii going on? <laughs> Honoruru, it sounds like the anime version of Honolulu. Honoru. Seems like we're quite ahead in the in terms of research, and I don't really know what I'm looking at either, and it kind of hurts my eyes and confuses me a little bit, but overall it's pretty cool. I actually like this design. I know a lot of people don't like the design, but I personally think it's cool. The one part that's bad is I just don't know what to research, so I don't know what the meta is here. It looks like our industry research is mostly already researched. I just wonder how strong our navy is. We have a lot of ships, but I really like this icon though. These are really cool. Like, even if you hate the UI, it's kind of a cool design at least. Can we take a small loan of um, 20 trillion dollars in this mod? <laughs> uh, national debt is actually a mechanic. <laughs> oh yes, you know we won't be managing that one at all, guys. It's already chosen for us. We're already getting our hands dirty. We can't even choose. I guess, you know, we're probably already cheating in the elections. Probably would have chosen to do it anyway, but <laughs> yeah. And we'll just build civilian factories because I don't really want to figure out what else to build. I don't know how soon the world's gonna blow up, so I don't really know when to switch over to mills, but I guess I can just make an educated guess. And the Kitty Class Destroyer or Kitty Hawk Class, that sounds pretty cool. Oh wow, we have a lot of mechanized divisions. Oh, our entire army is just mechanized divisions. I guess mechanized divisions must be the way to go. Some of these are armored and some of them are mechanized. That's interesting. Let's inspect these divisions. The armored divisions, 16 widths, that's okay. APC, whatever that stands for. <laughs> and MBT, whatever that stands for dance for sure sounds good and mechanized is just the apc and mbt but at a different ratio <laughs> and here's our economy we have a pretty good gdp i think gdp growth 3.5 percent better than the current gdp growth in real life but of course we have a smaller economy here 45 republicans 40 democrats but that doesn't make sense. It's impossible to have, oh, it's split up. I see it's split up into Republican Democrat senators and then national progressive senators. Cool, Martin Luther King Jr. speech. I love the new events. I've, I'm pretty bored of history events that just happened during World War II. This is much more interesting. Oh, <laughs> I think it's confirmed. Look at that right there. Of course, Nixon is doing what he can to keep the NPP down, including some extra legal means. But I guess the NPP are kind of like the bad guys. 
guys, I think. So he's not really doing it against the Democrats, but yeah. Hmm. Oh, the German moon landing, that's cursed. <laughs> oh, and Demonetizer strikes at Mustache Man. Wow, what have I turned into? This could be good for us. Maybe the alliance over here could break. I don't really know how we're going to take advantage of that, considering that we are pretty far away. I guess we could invade Ireland from Iceland. It's kind of sad that that's really our only option. Wait, who owns this island? Oh, this is our island. Keep America strong and free. Vote Republican and Democrat at the same time. Wow. An operative. I almost forgot about the operative thing. I guess we start with an intelligence agency, the CIA. Time to see how the parties are doing. It looks like the Republican Democrat Party is ready for anything. The National Progressive Party is working together well, and American society is somewhat united. Okay, that seems good, I guess. And the Republican Democrats have such a giant majority that I don't think we need need to worry that much. I guess they are technically still separated, kind of, because they have to be if there's different senators. But yeah. Oh wait, and it shows each state's senator? <laughs> what? And of course the Civil Rights Act passes, so yeah, nice. The Southern Democrats announced their allegiance to the NPP. Uh... That, that can't be good. Okay, I'm campaigning in the Deep South just in case maybe we can, uh, you know, change some people's minds. Media slams Nixon, <laughs> oh no. Okay, polls are updated, we'll check in a second. The president's daily brief. We believe the best way to curtail Japanese economic and military power is to draw them into new and escalating conflicts. President Nixon nods carefully, considering his advisor's comment. Okay, and now we can secretly support the Philippines. We can make friends there, maybe get, get them back because you know, they're just, yeah, puppet territory of this Greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere. Oh wow, and we're getting a secret CIA report. The South African Federation has similar issues. There's a risk of the African Reichskommissariats invading them, but it's not likely right now because they're reliant on their mother nation, I guess. Hmm, understood. Interesting report. Hopefully we can recruit these guys to join our organization of free nations. That, that would be a nice foothold in Southern Africa, and we can slowly move north from there. And it's kind of a bad idea to campaign in the Deep South because the MPP has such strong leads. But on the West Coast, there's a few toss-ups that we could probably win, so let's campaign there instead. Well, um, democracy seems to have fallen here and now we're in a war. I don't know how this one happened. We have 1% war support, so that's not good, but I guess we can get our infantry divisions ready for a naval invasion. I was not prepared for this, at least we have a lot of ports nearby. And I don't know how many divisions they have, it might not be too difficult. They have four divisions, so this should be fine. Looks like two of them will land. Oh yes, and we won the war, and it just automatically repuppeted them. And apparently there's some blackmail we're trying to be blackmailed with, you know? We can either burn it all or keep it secret, and we kind of need to get rid of it just because it could hurt us in this election. You know, it's just for the greater men of everybody that we have to keep it secret. We have to, you know, destroy the tapes, if you know what I'm <laughs> saying. People lost their some of their seats. Let's look at it now. Oh no. It's now 66-32. At least the Democrat-Republican party has... Um, they still have a majority. They have a super majority, technically, with 66. And we can do better in the next campaign, I'm sure. And that's like two years away. Oh, wait. The Japanese have treaty ports on the West Coast. They own LA and San Francisco? Oh no, that's so terrible. Wait, there's like a voting map too? <laughs> well, I didn't realize it was this complicated. I saw this thing that said voting GUI. I didn't realize that it was this crazy. This is really impressive. So we have two options. We can either give this guy guns or we can give this guy money. I don't know why we have to give this guy guns or money and not neither, but I guess we'll give him guns. Yeah, sure. Ooh, more top secret stuff. I like this. So it looks like the mustache man's health is not very good and he has a maximum of six months to live. And should he die, a wide scaled armed conflict is almost inevitable. Top secret, understood. <laughs> okay, I don't know how we are going to take advantage of that considering the political crisis in our country, but I'm sure there's something we can do. Oh no, um, uh, a bunch of stuff was leaked. 
Nixon and the FBI conspired to wiretape political opponents during the election. <laughs> Let's deny everything, of course. Um, yeah, oh no. And the leader of this German puppet state wants us to evacuate him. I don't know, this just seems like a good opportunity to, you know, meddle and stuff. I don't really know how it's gonna help us, but it just sounds cool, so, yeah, let's help evacuate him. Franco is gone and this Iberian Council was created. That could be good, I guess. But anyway, I think that's where I have to end it off for today. This has been exciting so far. I'm intrigued to see where this goes in the future. But for now, I guess we'll take a break. So if you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>